Hey guys, unfortunately, I am going to restart my diet plan and I have a complete new plan ahead of me. You know, I've decided that I'm going to set a specific detailed plan for myself. I'm really going to have strict rules for myself. I'm going to have a time frame of when I want to achieve this goal basically. So here it is. Basically, when I started this journey, I decided that I was just going to you know, try to do it my way. I'm just going to you know, do portions and I'm going to try to incorporate more healthier foods and swap out the bad food for the good food and stuff. And the whole time I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing good. I think I'm doing great. I think, I think, I think. But then when I weighed myself and I measured myself, I was like, wow, I'm really not doing great. Like, first of all, there was no change in my measurements. And second of all, I don't know if it was because of the time of day or what I was wearing, but it said I gained two pounds. And I've been 192 for the past like two or three months. Um, before that, I was always like 194, 192, 193, you know, just going back and forth. And now it's I'm 194, which is weird. At least I feel like I did better. But I guess I didn't because I didn't have a specific goal or plan or anything like that. And I think that's the reason why, if I did, unless it was the time of day, that I gained weight. I decided to, first of all, set a goal. And then I've also decided to do some calorie counting. I've heard a lot of great, you know, stories about people when they did calorie counting and they had a lot of success with it. So I decided I'm going to do that. And I wrote down some of the numbers. Um... Because my goal is to lose about 45 pounds in four months, which is when my birthday is. And I know that is a lot to lose in a short amount of time. I, I'm going to really have to kick butt with this and really exercise and be really strict with myself. But I really want this and I've been always wanting to do like weight, you know, lose weight by my birthday and I never do it. So I really, really want to do this this time. So I'm going to use my food scale more often. Uh, again, portion control because the, the calorie counting will definitely help me with more, the portion control. I have a tendency to always be needing something. I can't just have three meals and wait for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have to like constantly be eating or chewing or drinking. I'm going to try to have five to seven meals a day. Um, they can be snacks and meals. It's obviously healthier stuff, all healthy actually. So I'm going to eat as much fruit and vegetables as I can. I want to make sure I have them each and every meal is a must have for me. Again, I'm going to make sure I incorporate the 64 ounces of water. What I really liked doing in the past was adding fruits and vegetables to my drinks. Like I would add like cut up strawberries or cut up cucumbers and lemon to my water and that really helped me like want the water even more because it kind of tasted like lemonade or just like fruity, like fruity flavored water. Also, I'm not going to have any fried food. I'm really going to try not to have processed food. I'm just going to have less processed food as much as possible, but definitely no fried foods. Okay, so exercise-wise, I'm going to be doing my like three to four days of running, which I did this week, and I loved it. I'm going to try to do as much as I can, um, starting now, maybe, because before I said I was only going to be doing three days a week, but I'm going to try to do more because I like it so much, and maybe, you know, increase my time. I've also decided that arm weights and leg weights, like, working on my legs, arms, and abs, like, I can do that anywhere, any day. It's not going to, like, kill me. Like, when I run, I end up being so tired, I just want to sleep or just want to sit down. But when I do arms and legs and thigh, or arms, legs, and ab uh, workouts, I don't get as tired. I get worked out, but I don't get, like, all lazy. So, I've decided that I'm going to incorporate all those workouts, except for running, every day of the week. I do have a lot of, my like, a lot of workout videos that I like, and also the Just Dance on my week. So, I'm going to try to incorporate that with my exercises, maybe swap it out, or maybe do that, you know as well but no matter what I'm gonna be exercising every single day well, this is the thing that made me lose like 25 pounds when I was like in like high school middle school area it was um kind of dusty but Jillian Michaels the biggest the biggest winner um how to lose weight videos basically how to win by losing and this came with five discs um basically one was a cardio kickboxing one which is my favorite because it doesn't include any equipment and you just you know just do it by yourself and it's awesome you can do it whenever and wherever and then the other ones is for your backside, for your front area, and then also a maximize, a maximize for your front area and a maximize for your back area. So basically like the beginner version or the regular version and then the hardcore version. And then of course the kickboxing one which is my favorite. And so this one I highly recommend getting because she's awesome and she just kicks your butt. Another one that I found, I found these at Walmart, was the dance off the inches country line dance which is 
fun and you learn a lot of stuff but you get a good workout from um, you get a good workout from it, so I highly recommend this one. The 10 Minute Solutions Dance It Off and Tone It Up. This one is a really good workout. It's just a 10 minute workout. I think it comes with like three or a couple different 10 minute workouts that you can choose from. The different ones that work out your bottom, your top, your abs, or whatever. So these videos are awesome. This is my favorite though. So highly recommend those. Not too much to say about my measurements and weight. Like I said, I didn't really try too hard this week. It was just like crazy. I just went into it without even thinking about like specific goals and things like that. Alright guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys on my week three. Hopefully by then I will have lost like a pound at least. And I will have an updated measurement and weight. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.